controversy. America's pop star celebrity sweetheart. Taylor Swift. The Taylor strategy. A psyop. Psyop. Don't get involved. Stay out of it. Maybe she wants to think twice. Spornak, is this a psyop from upper management? <laughs> no one tells me anything. But if I had to guess, I'd say absolutely not. And it's a completely sexist premise. Psyop is also a really good Mortal Kombat character you can unlock. Noob psyop. All right, well, let's check in with an actual psyop that's brainwashed half the country. A lifelong Republican says Trump hasn't let him down. Look at the embroidery. <laughs> FascistEtsy.com. <laughs> FascistEtsy. So here's this rich guy, married three times, pretty foul mouth. Human garbage. What is it about him? Has he made mistakes? Oh my goodness, yes. But how many presidents have come out on stage and hugged the American flag? <laughs> <laughs> that really means something to me. <laughs> That flag did not consent. <laughs> Biden just needs to lay the flag down on stage and hump it saltburn style. <laughs> That'll win him over. Martha Raddatz doing this whole thing of who are these people? It's been eight years. You know everything <laughs> about these people. You don't have to keep pretending that there's some weird romantic nature to their brain. Sounds like you didn't read the embroidery, Zotox. Martha's <laughs> just respecting the embroidery. <laughs> don't thread on me. <laughs> don't thread on... <laughs> That's so good. I really want to see Jews will not replace us in cursive on a throw pillow. <laughs> All right. Well, if Biden's not going to hump a flag, Fox is just going to keep licking the drain of Biden scandals. Do you have faith in your commander in chief? He wants to see the economy crash this year. A sitting president. And he's well, referring to Trump there as the sitting he, president. He, he said right. sitting president. He's he, the sitting right. president. Also News hated. flash. News flash. Amazing scandal. This is what they've got. There are legitimate things they could criticize about the Biden administration, but that would require discourse. So they're just manufacturing this bullshit. If you're going to go after President Trump on losing it, game on. It's like, what about gaffism? Yeah. You guys have your gaff machine. We have our gaff <laughs> machine. What was January 6th, if not a classic Trump gaff? <laughs> During a trip to Pennsylvania on Friday, he appeared surprised to learn what a smoothie cost. I'm just going to add some sparkles when she does the surprise, surprise to learn what a smoothie cost. Anybody want a coffee? It's not me. Yeah. Right. You take the smoothie? Well, there's six bucks, but I'll do it anyway. <laughs> He's trying to like be light around the press because that's what presidents do. And their reaction to this is like, no, he was surprised that the smoothie <laughs> cost six dollars. White House claims the president wasn't taken aback. He was just joking around. It actually isn't funny. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, there are five different Chirons that they have for this story. White House dodges question over Biden's smoothie reaction. Biden was joking. <laughs> the scare quotes over joking. Biden appears surprised. Appears surprised <laughs> over $6 smoothie. Let's bring in a body language expert. <laughs> You use that photo of it, yeah. You seem to be surprised uh, that the smoothie was six dollars. It's and so humiliating. She has to even uh, answer this. And she said that he was joking in that, but that smoothie probably less expensive three years ago. Larry. Oh, yeah. Fox <laughs> Business yesterday. smoothie stocks are going up. Six dollars yesterday. Three, to, it was three bucks a couple years ago. Three bucks? You were, Larry Kudlow, Larry Kudlow, where are you getting a $3 smoothie? I go to a basement in Chinatown. <laughs> a couple years ago, I could have bought this Dracula coat for half the price. It's like North Face for Nosferatu. <laughs> but who's counting? You know, Edward Lawrence, who's counting? <laughs> Apparently the count. <laughs> this fantasy world in which gas was 12 cents a gallon, smoothies were $3. The year was 1950. Things were good <laughs> until Biden came along. You could ride the trolley for a nickel when Donald Trump was president. <laughs> All right, speaking of Trump, let's go from an overreported non-scandal to a crazy speech that should be a scandal. Shortly after we win the presidency, I will have the horrible war between Russia and Ukraine settled. I'll get it done. I will crush yeah. Ukraine. <laughs> yeah, I will nuke Kiev. And we will restore on this planet peace through Earth. We're going to drill, baby, drill. <laughs> yeah. We're going to drill for peace. <laughs> We're going to go right through this Earth all the way. This was really a speech about solutions. Here's his for shoplifting. You have to treat the first one out the door of the next time it happens extremely tough. That means anything you want to do. What? Have you heard of the movie The Purge? <laughs> Walgreens employees. Walgreens employees. <laughs> Go f medieval. Heads on spikes. <laughs> Let this be a warning. The White House doctor. I said to him, 
You know, Ronnie, I'd like to take a cognitive test. I never heard of it before, but whatever it is. <laughs> really? I just told you about it yesterday. I'm so smart, I've never heard of a cognitive test. <laughs> I like tests. I've always liked tests. Tests are very interesting. Are you not entertained? We're going to give you six things. <laughs> Who's the person clapping? <laughs> <laughs> give him six things. It's like a guy who doesn't know when to clap. This is the boringest. I cannot believe we're literally watching someone on a campaign. <laughs> Do cognitive tests. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Then they come back to you 30 minutes later at the end. Last question. They say, what were those six things? I love how it's described as like, and then the prestige. <laughs> they, return, they return and they ask you. <laughs> and you think it's over, but just wait, there's a twist. <laughs> they say the president that was treated the worst was Abraham Lincoln, but he had the Civil War, you know, so <laughs> he had a little Civil War going. <laughs> just a minor footnote in the history of the country. I fully believe he said little because he's imagining the Civil War that's about to come. And he's like, we're going to have a much bigger Civil War. The Biggest civil war you've ever seen. Most beautiful civil war. Not just brothers against brothers, all siblings. Dads and MILFs versus MILFs. MILFs versus DILFs. <laughs> I mean, what is this going to turn into a civil war? It feels like almost like a soft civil war. The soft civil war brought to you by <laughs> Snuggle Fabric Softener. Where we go one, we go all. <laughs> the storm is coming. And some people would say, well, that's the seeds of a civil war. Is that what you want? Yeah, they want it. Where does this end? By the way, I'm all on board. If we had an actual <laughs> governor of Texas, you have to go through the Texas Rangers. Okay. <laughs> Let's just see the full might of the U.S. military up against Chuck <laughs> Norris. The founding fathers intended impeachment to be used to deal with the commission of indictable <clears throat> crimes and the abuse of power. Hiya, thanks for tuning in. If you like the show, help us keep this spaceship going. Subscribe to our YouTube channel or drop a comment. We read them all. If you really like the show, subscribe to our Patreon, where we share bonus content that didn't make it on this episode. Okay, gotta go. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>